If you're looking for a super easy way to meal prep simple, healthy snacks that you can just grab and go anytime, then you need to try chia pudding. You've probably seen it online or in grocery stores or cafes. It's become a very popular snack, but it's also great for breakfast or even dessert. There's no cooking required and anyone can do this in minutes with just a few simple ingredients. And because they stay fresh for about five days in the fridge, they're perfect to make ahead of time for meal prep. Now what exactly is chia pudding and why is it so popular? It's a creamy, thick and nutrient packed pudding that kind of resembles tapioca. At its core, it's just a simple combination of two ingredients, chia seeds and milk. When you let chia seeds soak in liquid, in very little time, they swell up and expand in size and turn into a thick, gelatinous, jelly-like texture. It's the easiest pudding you'll ever make. When it comes to nutrition, chia seeds are one of my favorite superfoods. They're packed with fiber, protein, antioxidants, vitamins, and omega-3 fatty acids, making them great for your brain, your heart, your bones, and even reducing inflammation. And they're also great for supporting weight management because they keep you feeling full. While chia pudding can be as simple as mixing chia seeds and milk, you can also find fun, creative ways to create some really tasty flavors just by adding a few extra ingredients. Today, I'll show you six of my favorite flavor combinations that are so delicious and really simple to make. When it comes to containers, I like using these small 8 ounce wide mouth mason jars. They're a perfect size for one individual serving, and these wide mouth openings make it very easy to mix in and easy to clean. If you're interested, I've included links to these in the video description below. To start off, I'm going to show you the simple base recipe that I use for all of my chia puddings. First, let's add half a cup of milk into our mason jar. In this case, I'm using almond milk, but you can use whatever you like. Then add two tablespoons of chia seeds and one and a half teaspoons of maple syrup as our sweetener. You can also use other sweeteners like stevia or honey if you'd like. Give it a good mix and let it sit for about five minutes before mixing again. This step is very important because within just a few minutes, the chia seeds will start to expand, gelatinize, and clump up into clusters. So if we refrigerate that right away, it'll make for a very uneven and inconsistent pudding texture. So let's wait for a few minutes and give it another stir to break up those clumps before putting it into the fridge. This step is super important to getting a smooth, creamy consistency. Let's refrigerate this for at least two hours. This will give the chia seeds time to expand and absorb the liquid. If I'm meal prepping a big batch of these for the week, I usually make four servings. For this, we're going to need two cups of milk, a half a cup of chia seeds, and two tablespoons of maple syrup. Give it a good stir with a whisk, and again, let it sit for five minutes while the chia seeds start to expand, and then stir it again to get rid of any clumps. Cover the bowl and put it in the fridge. When we take it out, we can see that the chia seeds have now turned into this thick, creamy pudding that looks a lot like tapioca. If you find it too thick, you can add more milk and adjust to your taste. This base chia pudding can now be eaten on its own. Whenever you're hungry, you can just grab a bowl, portion out however much you like, and add whatever toppings you're in the mood for, whether it's granola, berries, nuts, or seeds. You can eat it cold or warm it up in the microwave, depending on how you like it. And you can easily store this away in an airtight jar or a container for up to five days in the fridge. Or you can even freeze it for a few weeks. It's a great time saver that gives you a lot of flexibility. Sometimes what I also like to do is add some frozen fruits before refrigerating so that the chia seeds and fruits can soften together in the fridge and be ready to eat at the same time. Now that we've got the base recipe down, let's take this to another level with these six delicious flavor combinations. Our first flavor is perfect for the spring and summer months. This is our mango coconut chia pudding. Into our mason jar, we're going to build our base recipe of milk, chia seeds, and maple syrup. And on top of that, let's add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. For this recipe, I'm using canned light coconut milk. I prefer this over full fat coconut milk, which I find too thick for this recipe. Give it a stir, let it sit for five minutes, then stir it again to get rid of any clumps. Pop on a lid and put it in the fridge. When it's ready, we're gonna take a ripe mango and slice it into chunks. A quick and easy way to do this is by cutting off one side, carving horizontal and vertical lines into the mango to create little squares like this, and then using a spoon to scoop out the blocks of mango then do the same for the other side. We're then gonna grab our blender and blend these mango chunks into a puree. If it's too thick, you can add some water to help it blend a bit easier. I've also left a few chunks of mango to use as toppings at the end. Once that's done, we're gonna take an empty mason jar and layer half of our chia pudding mixture into the jar and then spread half of our mango puree on top and then the remaining half of the chia pudding. And of course, the last bit of mango puree on top so that we create a few different layers. Then we can top it off with our mango chunks 
as well as a sprinkle of coconut flakes. And that's our mango coconut chia pudding. If you love mangoes as much as I do, you're going to love this. Our next flavor is a citrus blast that's again perfect for spring and summer. This is our orange creamsicle chia pudding. In our mason jar, let's mix a quarter cup of light coconut milk, two tablespoons of chia seeds, one and a half teaspoons of maple syrup, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then, using a citrus juicer, let's squeeze the juice out of three mandarin oranges. Mandarin oranges are sweeter and smaller than a regular orange, but if you're using a regular orange, just squeeze roughly three tablespoons of juice. Let's add the juice to our jar, give it a mix, let it sit and settle for five minutes, mix it again to remove any clumps, and then snap on a lid and put it in the fridge. Once it's ready, we're gonna to top it off with a big spoonful of Greek yogurt, some peeled mandarin slices, and using a fine grater, I'm just gonna grate some orange zest for a touch of extra citrus flavor, as well as a sprinkle of coconut flakes. And that's our orange creamsicle chia pudding. It's super summery and refreshing, just like the popsicle. Continuing on with our spring and summer theme, this very berry chia pudding is super refreshing and insanely easy. Into a blender, we're gonna add our milk, maple syrup, and half a cup of frozen berries. Let's give it a good blend, then pour it into a jar and mix in our chia seeds. Give it a stir, wait five minutes, give it another stir to remove any clumps, and then pop on a lid and refrigerate. When it's ready, let's top it off with some fresh or thawed berries. Sprinkle on some granola and hemp seeds, and our deliciously refreshing very berry is ready to eat. This next one is what I call apple pie. Give it a try and you'll see just how much it tastes like one. For this one, let's combine our base recipe of milk, chia seeds, and maple syrup. Then, let's add one tablespoon of unsweetened applesauce and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Give it a stir, let it sit for five minutes, give it another mix, and then put it in the fridge. When it's ready, let's take a large red apple and chop it up into small cubes. Then in a saucepan over medium heat, let's add two teaspoons of coconut oil, our apple chunks, one tablespoon of maple syrup, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Give it a stir and cook for about four to five minutes until the apples are softened and browned. Once that's done, we're then gonna add our apple chunks right on top of the chia pudding, along with a pinch of cinnamon and a cinnamon stick if you have one. I love eating apple pie, so even though this is great for the fall season, I find myself eating it all year round. Our next recipe is another favorite for the fall. It's our pumpkin spice chia pudding. For this one, let's combine our milk, chia seeds, and maple syrup, along with two tablespoons of pure pumpkin puree, which you can typically find canned at any grocery store. And let's add one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix it all together, let it sit for five minutes, stir it again, and then refrigerate with the lid on. Once it's ready, I'm gonna to top it off with a spoonful of Greek yogurt, a few sprinkles of cinnamon, some crushed almonds, and a cinnamon stick. And that's it. Super simple and perfect for the fall or any time of the year when you're craving some pumpkin spice. Our last flavor is this chocolate banana chia pudding, which is so decadent and perfect for dessert. Let's combine our milk, chia seeds, and maple syrup, along with one tablespoon of cocoa powder, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one tablespoon of crushed chocolate or chocolate chips. Mix it all together, let it sit for five minutes, then mix again. Snap on a lid and put it in the fridge. When it's ready, we're gonna to top it off with some banana slices, some crushed chocolate, and some crushed almonds. And just like that, you've got a smooth chocolatey dessert ready for after lunch or dinner. I hope this video gave you some ideas and inspiration on just how simple, quick, and easy it is to make chia pudding. It's great for meal prepping a batch of healthy snacks, breakfasts, or desserts that I can just grab and go throughout the week. If you give any of these a try, or have any of your own favorite flavors that you've made yourself, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think. Until next time, thanks for watching. If you'd like to watch more, click here for another video. And if you enjoy my content, I'd really appreciate if you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.